So today I'm out at uh, Smith Rock State Park, and um, I'm glad you're with me here. We're going to take a walk around. We're going to go down along the uh, Crooked River, which flows through the park. Um, it's a $5 day pass uh, to park here. I think that if you ride your bike in and you lock it somehow against one of the fences or something, you can you can probably get in for free. But the parking pass uh, is five dollars and it lasts until dusk. So um, glad you're with me again and um, let's take a look around. Smith Rock is generally considered the birthplace of modern American sport climbing and it's got a lot of cutting edge climbing routes. It's popular for sports climbing, traditional climbing, multi-pitch climbing, and bouldering. The park has many miles of developed trails for hiking, the trails of viewpoints along the routes that overlook the, the river and nearby rock formations. The two main trails are the Summit Trail and Misery Ridge. The park contains the, the first U.S. climb rated 5.14, I'm not a climber, so I don't know what that means. Uh, the area is well known for its challenging climbing routes and attracts high-level climbers. Uh, a guy named Alan Watts began to use sports climbing ethics, which pushed American climbing to new levels. And shortly after, somewhere between 92 and 2009, about 500 new climbing routes were added. This brought climbers from all over the world and it became the world capital for sport climbing. To this day, the park still attracts climbers from around the globe. The winter weather is typically cold, but climbers may still make the journey um, because of the reduced traffic on all of the routes. Summer months regularly reach over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, over 40 degrees Celsius. Some climbing routes are closed periodically for the protection of nesting birds of plot. Pray. So we're going to take a walk around the park, but I have to admit there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of climbers today, a lot of people out walking. The sage is blooming right now out here, and the bees have discovered that it is.
I can't stress how steep this trail is. Um, in fact, coming out, this part that I'm walking on now is the absolute steepest. And last time I was out here, I was really wondering if I was going to make it. It was uh, much hotter. And uh, I thought coming up out of the trail that I'm going to go down right now, um, coming up, out, up that trail out of the canyon, I was thinking that I would... Uh, I might collapse and they may have to take me out in an ambulance, but hey, I made it. But this part was really hard. It appears as though I got here a little too late. Most of the climbers are just now hitting the ground. And I, <laughs> I mean that as a metaphor, not as a reality.
And now comes the hardest part for me on this trip because uh, it's difficult for me to climb out of the canyon. Um, you notice the zigzag trail I came down. That's the one I've always used. But I recently discovered a uh, slower, more roundabout, less steep way, and I'm going to try that as, uh, as I crawl out of the canyon. So wish me luck and come along with me. Thanks. The one that those folks are climbing down is the one that I usually take and it's difficult for me at my age and out of shape as I am. I have to go up to that where that little hut is you see so I'm gonna go up this trail in hopes that it's not quite as steep. Let's see. <sighs> I've had to stop a few times. You can get a sense of the steepness of the climb out on this less steep trail. So I did it. I crawled out of there. <laughs> there were moments when I had my doubts, but I feel good. Um, if you think I deserve it, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these kinds of things, subscribe. I've got a, a bunch of stuff in mind here that's coming up. And uh, I really appreciate you sticking around this long. So I'll see you next week.